Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel series that is currently running into my channel. Friends, please check the description box after the video ends. There you will find the link of the Excel data file which I am using in this video. And check the playlist into my channel also. There you will find useful playlist which will lead you to the way to learn easily friends in my previous video we get to know a new form of sum if function and today we are going to know how to use the sum ifs function in microsoft excel in different way to learn about this formula briefly watch this video till the end this is your host pritam and you are watching technical portal youtube channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel so without wasting any time let's begin welcome back friends for your easy reference, I am going to run the OSK software as usual, that means the on-screen keyboard, so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. Friends, I have already created a file previously to save time. Let's open that. Here it is. Suppose you have a datasheet like this and you have to count a certain range or sum any certain range value and that range will be a date range and that range will be a range where it contains a date to sum values there are between two dates you can use the sum ifs function you have to type the formula like this Look at here carefully friends, at first I am going to give the criteria that means after date and before date. Look at here, we have 1st September in the first cell and 29 October in the last cell. And we have to get the sum of amount which is between 6 September to 15 October. So we are going to write the criteria here like this after date that means the starting date and the starting date will be 6 September write it down 6 September 2018 and hit the enter and the second criteria that means the before date it will be on 15th October that means 15 slash 10 slash 18 that is 15th October and we will get the result between 6 September to 15th October and in this cell we have to type the formula here look at here carefully I am going to type the formula equals to sum ifs we are going to use the sum ifs function open the first bracket then it is asking for sum range the sum range should be the amount range after that put a comma here then it is asking for criteria range 1 in this case the criteria range 1 will be the date range then put a comma here look at here it is asking for a criteria 1 open the double inverted comma then put a greater than symbol after that close the double inverted comma then carefully put a ampersand symbol after that you have to select that cell reference number where your criteria 1 has been included then you have to put a comma here then it is asking for criteria range 2 this range also will be the date range then put a comma here then it is asking for criteria 2 the criteria 2 will be also like that open the double inverted comma then here you have to put the lesser than symbol then close put an ampersand symbol here then select the 
criteria to cell reference number then close the bracket and simply hit the enter button look at here friends we get a summed value in between 6 September to 15th October range so let's check how this formula actually works this formula sums the amounts in column D when a date in column C is between a date in H5 and a date in H6. In this example, H5 contains 6 September 2018 and H6 contains 15th October 2018. The sum ifs function supports Excel's logical operation and multiple criteria. To match dates between two values, we need to use two criteria. Some ifs require that each criteria be entered as a criteria range pair, like this one. Note that we need to enclose the logical operators in double quotation, this one. Then join with cell references using an ampersand symbol. Take care to use greater than or equal to and less than or equal to if you want to include or match the start or end date as well as the date between. So that's all for today friends. Hopefully you liked this video and learned a new trick of some ifs function in Microsoft Excel. Please give a thumbs up, share this video with your friends. Share your opinion and queries in the comment box. Keep learning, keep supporting this channel and stay tuned.